Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. We all want to be happy, right? And I've heard more than one sermon on the Beatitudes that simplifies the word blessed by saying it means happy. And one translation even substitutes the word happy in there instead of blessed. Even the Bible app said that that's what it means. But I had a sneaking suspicion that it meant more than that. So I started digging. First off, I found lots of places that say, Blessed be the Lord. So it's obviously a trait God has. He is blessed. There's also lots of spots that say God blesses a certain person or group of people. So it's something the Lord can bestow on people. Other places seem like people are passing on God's blessing of them to others. But what I really wanted to look at are the verses that are like the Beatitudes. And there are many strewn throughout the Bible, verses that show what we can do and be in order to receive blessings from God. So today I want to do something a little different. I want to read those verses to you. We'll just have time for the Old Testament ones today. As I read them, think about what causes one to be blessed and what kind of blessing they receive. It starts out in Genesis with, Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be those who bless you. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits at the seat of the scornful, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates in it day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. O taste and see, the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, nor such as turns aside to lies. Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Blessed is the man you choose and cause to approach you, that he may dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, of your holy temple. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on pilgrimage. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. In your name they rejoice all day long, and in your righteousness they are exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and in your favor our horn is exalted. Blessed is the man whom you instruct, O Lord, and teach out of your law, that you may give him rest from the days of adversity. Blessed are those who keep justice, and he who does righteousness at all times. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commands. His descendants will be mighty on the earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are the undefiled who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at my doors. He who has a generous eye will be blessed. Blessed are all those who wait for him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence or hope is in him. Aren't each and every one of these blesseds a wonderful treasure? We'll talk more about them tomorrow. But for now, which one of these describes you? And you are blessed because of it. Which ones would you like to describe you? And what do you think 
blessed means anyway. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.